hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you for those of you that subscribed thank you so much for the support and encouragement that you guys gave me on my last video if this is your first video hi my name is anna and welcome to my channel this is officially video number two let me just say yay to the second video I thought that I would record a video where you guys can get to know what type of person I am, what of my values, just who is Anna. So I thought I would tell you guys who I am. <laughs> um, if you do see me looking down, it's only because I've got a notebook and I do not want to ramble on. So I'm going to stay on point, on topic. So yeah. So in this video, what actually brought up this video was a group of friends of mine that have a podcast. They have this podcast called Reflections 162. Their details are in the description box below. Um, guys, I love this podcast. I love one, it's my friends. So of course, I must support them. But the other thing, the things that they talk about, their topics, they're real, they raw. It's what's currently happening in society. And it's some things that we, that we should really reflect on and speak about. They're important topics. So this week's topic was called um, empty cup. Um, so if you're a person who's always giving, 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 and you've got people in your lives that are just take, 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 um, it's a really a podcast that I advise you to give it a listen um i'm sure you can relate to it and relate to these stories for me it wasn't necessarily the empty cup aspect that hit home but it was these words i'm just gonna play it for you guys it was these specific words that just were like man it's like you are reading my mind it's like you are inside my heart because that's that's me. It's what I value. It's one of the most important things to me. So let's listen to it first. <laughs> Problem arises where you grew up in a community yeah. whereby everything was just communal. Mm. You know, whereby you can't have an ice cream in front of Utabo or mm. Utabang. Yeah. Mm. But also, True is also the fact that we live in an environment whereby it's okay for a person to eat whatsoever that they've bought with their own money in front of you yeah. and without them feeling yeah. sorry. Yeah. yeah. But of course, being the person that grew up in the environment that I grew up in, I found that challenging. I think it's important, guys, to never forget where we come from. Mm -hmm. True. Not to say it's not important to say no, it is, yeah. but it's just that for me i think it's just a personal choice you yes. know if i've i've been through something yes. and i've just taken an oath to say that you know what yes. never in my entire existence mm. will i allow the next person to go through what i went through mm. knowing for sure that it's not cute being in that position yeah so even if to them they're like ah or yeah. whatever it's fine yeah. it's not about them but it's about me yes. yeah. yeah so okay. yeah yeah so okay. damn uh, yeah um, that is a snippet of Reflections 162's latest episode. And it's the words where he said, it's important to never forget where I come from. For me, it's one of the most important things is to never forget where I come from. You'll find, if you know me, um, you'll see that I've got a tattoo on my ankle. It's a tattoo of blood up order, or in English we say pointy pot. Some people say, why do you have a tattoo of a pointy pot? Guys, it's not even about the pointy pot. It's the meaning behind it. When I look at this tattoo, um, or when I see a pointy pot, I think of my family in my rural village. I think of the people from there. Um, I think of the love the community, um, the just coming together of people. So whenever we're back home and there's a huge wedding or a get together, whatever it is, the women are always by the fire and they are cooking in these huge pots. I'll leave a picture over here to show you guys, but these huge pots yeah. and they are cooking Baba Kayona. And wow, um, it just reminds me that I come from a rich, 
rich culture strong woman and that's exact type of person i want to be i want to be strong i want to be a person who never um deters from her values um for anybody or anything but you see now i'm rambling on but yeah so to go into the story i come from a small little village in Polokwani and um here i am in the city so how did i get into the city and live this wonderful beautiful blessed life that i live now i really do owe it to my mother my mother is a domestic worker single mother she raised myself and my sister and man without her hard work without her sacrifice i wouldn't be where i am today so my galilebuwa galerada um, but guys, my mother didn't do it alone. Um, the family that she works for, we like to say blended family. So they pulled my mom aside the one day and they were like, fetch your girls, fetch your daughters, bring them here. We will help you put them through school. And there it goes exactly what reflections 162 was talking about to say um we live in a world where it's okay for me to eat ice cream in front of someone and not find that challenging but for me that's something that is challenging and for them it was something that was challenging so it wasn't okay for them to give their children the best for their children to go through and have the best education to just have the best opportunity and the best start at life what about their domestic children the domestic who's living under their roof they thought her kids deserve the same life we want to give to our children and that's exactly what they've given my sister and myself so guys i just want to say thank you so much love you guys i really do appreciate what you guys have done um so guys this video i just wanted to say don't forget where you come from and i don't know if an oath like this is something that's important to you um but it's just important to me so when reflections 162 says the words um i've taken an oath to never allow a person to go through what i've been through that's an oath that i've also taken i was taken out of the village i was taken out of a life that doesn't necessarily look promising if you allow it to because there are some people out there that make it out of the village on their own through hard work and studying etc um but yeah it's definitely not a life that is promising um so that's why never forget where i come from is important it's one of the things that drive me and i've always said to myself if i can help another young woman or a child or whatever it is if i can help somebody else get out of that sort of situation in order to progress in life then i will do it um so recently there's a young lady who did her matric in 2020 we thought you know what we need to do what was done for us um we were taken out of the village and given a better chance at life and i wanted to do the same for this young lady so she now long story short she now lives with us and she's going to school every day um she got 80 percent um for the first time in her entire career guys the excitement crazy <laughs> But yeah, the reason why I did that was I was once that little girl in the village that was taken out and can live the life that I live now. So I wanted to give her the exact same thing that was done for me. What was done for me, I wanted to play it forward. So I just want to say, guys, whoever it is that played a role in your life, whether it was just motivating you, supporting you, being there for you, housed you, clothed you, fed you, whatever it is, there's some person or people in your life that played such a big role in your life that you wouldn't be where you are today without them. So I want to say, remember those people. Remember the person that you were before them. Um, and don't let it end with you. Don't let their kindness, their actions, whatever they did for you, 
don't let it end with you for me the other important aspect of remembering is also playing it forward so what was done for me i can't let it just end with me i needed to also play it forward do the same thing that was done for me um not necessarily the same but for me i felt like this was my chance to play it forward which is what i did and the other thing if i can say to you guys is if you are going to play it forward don't do it because you want to get the recognition out of it or whatever it is um, as a result of you making this play but do it for that person do it with an open mind and an open heart just being generous is all it is and with nothing more to it and not expecting anything afterwards so yeah so i just wanted to share with you guys i mean i hope the story tells you a little bit of who i am where i come from what's important to me my values and so yeah i just wanted to share something personal with you guys as well as a podcast that got me to sit down and have this conversation with you but yeah thank you so much for watching my second video i really do appreciate it please do comment below i would really like to hear um what has changed your life or who has played a huge role in your life that otherwise it wouldn't be the same today that's what i want to know so write it down in the comment section below i'd really like to interact with you guys and get to know you guys a little bit as well i really appreciate it